is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way For today's grim adventure, we find ourselves in Pennsylvania, near a town known as Bedford, and a town known as Man's Choice. Every time I hear the name Man's Choice, I think of the Twilight Zone episode known as To Serve Man, where these aliens come down to Earth and they have a cookbook that translates to serve man, how to cook the human race. But we're not here for the Twilight Zone. Instead, we're here because of a TV show known as Tales from the Dark Side. It kind of sounds a little creepy whenever you say it. Now, if you're a fan of horror, you probably have seen the movie Tales from the Dark Side. And you probably have seen the TV show Tales from the Dark Side. And whether you agree with me or not, I'm, just, I'm gonna stand behind this statement. The intro, the opening title sequence for the TV show Tales from the Dark Side is the scariest, most creepiest, unnerving, disturbing intro in television history. And when it comes to the stories of Tales from the Dark Side, sometimes I get them a little confused. Sometimes I can't remember if the storyline, the certain episodes that I remember are from the TV show Tales from the Dark Side or Tales from the Crypt or the Twilight Zone. But one thing's for certain, and this is why I think it's the scariest TV intro, I always remember that theme song. If you're a fan of horror, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Man lives in the sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. But there is, unseen by most, an underworld, a place that is just as real. Well, in today's video, we're going to try to track down the filming locations to the intro to Tales from the Dark Side, the TV show. I know where one of those filming locations is, the covered bridge that can be seen. The other ones have no clue. but. I kind of think that they're, they're probably filmed somewhere close by. And I know I keep showing this building that's behind me, but it has absolutely nothing to do with the TV show. It's actually just right down the street from the bridge. It's a shed that looks like a church that's next to an old church. It's kind of fitting. I figured let's start the video here. And how perfect is this? We got another overcast day. Hopefully it doesn't rain. If it does, we got umbrellas and we're still going on an adventure into the dark side. Just look at that sky. This is a perfect day to do this video on Tales from the Dark Side. Now where we're heading right now is a bridge known as Turner Covered Bridge. It wasn't always called this. If I'm not mistaken, at one point it was called Deals Covered Bridge can't drive across it, but you can walk across it. So with that being said, we're parking our car. We're going to walk back down this road quite some time until we find the bridge. Line up some shots, talk about Tales from the Dark Side a little bit more, and then try to find the other locations. Now when I say try to find the other locations from the title sequence, I'm guessing that they were filmed out here in this area. I mean, there's a covered bridge. Why come all the way out here to just get one shot of the covered bridge? There's a couple other ones. There's a, a street. There's what I call Civil War fences. They're like these wooden fences crisscrossing and a farm. So we're going to drive around and try to find all that. So when it comes down to it, what made Tales from the Dark Side, the TV show, great? Aside from the music and the really cool intro to the show itself, especially since the production really didn't have that much money to build sets and go on locations. In fact, it's been said that the people behind Tales from the Dark Side spent more time focusing on creating a great story than money for the sets and production. 
And it really shows because a lot of them, when you go back and watch the TV show itself, a lot of it takes place in like one, one or two rooms or three different rooms, and then they would recycle them and reuse them for the next episode. Just being out here, it's nice and refreshing. Now you can see the bridge from the road and driving down this way once we got off the turnpike out into the actual woods. You pass a whole bunch of different farmhouses and I looked very closely at each one getting to where we are right now and I haven't found the farmhouse from the opening. But we're gonna go look for it in just a little bit. And right over there, you can see it, here's a little arrow pointing out where the bridge is. And it looks identical. I'm talking identical. Well, that really wasn't a bad walk. Like I said, you can see the bridge from the road. And I guess you can drive across it if you really want to. I read online that they don't recommend it because it is old piece of history but if you really wanted to drive across you can I personally recommend parking and making the walk it's worth it just for the experience but this is it it looks almost identical if not identical to the opening shots of Tales from the Dark Side Man, that's cool. You know we gotta walk across it, right? Oh, man. I'm a sucker for architecture and lines and the way things look, like the symmetry of it all. And this is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. Uh, in the opening shots for the TV show, when they show this bridge, they also show a shot looking down the creek or the creek, depending on where you are in the country, you say it differently. Here, I say creek. Um, but you can see like an embankment. I'm guessing, I mean, you would think that it would have to be near here. So that's gonna be our next location that we're gonna find. Or at least try to find. Now that we're on the other side of the bridge, let's go ahead and line up the shot. Now, if we were to keep going down this road, it would take us across the field and pretty much right to the Pennsylvania Turnpike. But if we turn the camera around this way and look at the bridge from the other side of the creek, or creek, however you want to say it, this is the shot we get. And this is the shot from Tales from the Dark Side, the TV show. sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. Man, this is cool. And I never noticed this until now, but in the TV show, when you see this bridge, it's kind of dark. It's in the shade, like it's in the dark side. But if you look way off in the distance on the other side of the bridge, you can see the fields with the sun shining down on it, kind of like here. I don't think it was intentional. But it's kind of cool, right? Looking at it like that. Now, I might be wrong, but years ago, I could have sworn that I went online and I found the other locations to the opening shots, the opening sequence. Looking at it now in preparation for coming to Pittsburgh, this is the only one that I was able to find. And everything else, there's no mention of it. But right after this scene, you get a close-up shot looking down the creek, across the water and there's rocks. That's not here. Don't know where that's at. Man lives in the sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. But I mean, seriously, come on. How cool is this? The covered bridge from Tales from the Dark Side, the TV show. How many times can I say Tales from the Dark Side? A lot, because it's a great show and that's why we're here. I don't know if anybody's ever documented this on YouTube. Are we the first? 
I think it's pretty cool. It was a trek. It's two hour drive, close to a two hour drive from Pittsburgh to get here. Well worth it though, well worth it. Walking back to the car, I feel like this road that goes down to the covered bridge might actually be the road from the opening credit scenes, right where you see the title card that says Tales from the Dark Side. Now bear with me here. You can see the silo off in the distance. You can't see it in the TV show, but you can see the silo right there. Look to the right of it. You can see the fields. There's a house that wasn't there when they made, when they made the show. But you see where these trees are? The trees were a lot smaller in the shot. And instead of the wooden crisscross, what I call Civil War fences, now we have an electric fence. This could be it. Not as brightly lit. A dark side. Right? I know I'm going out on a limb here, but it kind of does make sense. If you're going to bring a camera crew all the way up here from Pittsburgh to film a covered bridge, you would want, from a financial point of view, from production point of view, from moving equipment around, to stay as close to wherever you're filming as possible. You don't want to film here and then drive five miles down that way and get a shot of a creek or anything like that. So I think this is the street. And it would make sense because going further down the street, I'm going to turn this way. You can see the covered bridge down there. And then right over here is a new building. Now, this is a dairy farm. I'm pretty sure it's a dairy farm. But what if back then the old farm that we're looking for was torn down and this was built in its spot? Right? It makes sense. I mean, this is the best that I got. I found the bridge. Yeah. This is cool. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. The name of the road that's in question is known as Falpel Road, F-A-U-P-E-L. But I think this is it. It makes the most sense to me. The more that I stand here and think about it and look at it, the more sure I am that this is the road. But just in case, before we make the two hour trek back to Pittsburgh, let's drive up and down and see if anything looks like the scenes from the show. Yeah, makes sense, right? Explore all options. Back up here on top of the hill, next to the church in this really cool building. I'm in love with this building. Again, it's just a shed that's made to look like the church. With that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time tracking down the filming locations to Tales from the Dark Side, the TV show. Till next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, bad luck is coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is that it stays. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.